Oh baby, we got a Red Bull Coconut today. So I took out my JDM uh, center console. And I put this Metra dash kit in. Uh, I ordered a double din for this thing with Apple CarPlay and uh, I'm gonna put this thing in and I still need a cup before it, but I might order that on eBay or something. I have a leak. So I tried to fix it with duct tape. I put some duct tape underneath the hood right there. Orange, my specialty. But I still have a leak of some water coming in. Um, I mean, this car's always leaked through the sunroof, but this is definitely not from the sunroof. Or I mean, it could be. I don't know, though. I don't want it to damage anything bad. So, um, yeah, I got to fix that soon. So soon this car is going to go into the shop um, for a while because I have to redo all the flares like I've been saying in the last couple of videos. We do have a meet on the 30th of this month. And I definitely want to take this car since the Subaru Evo will not be done. But I'm having some sort of a dilemma. So what... I have two dilemmas. Well, Dylan has one. Here is the G70Z and the Supra Mark IV wing is on it. He wants to know if he should put it on or not. So definitely comment down below. I think he should. I think he thinks he should. And um, I just think this thing needs something like that. And it looks weird right now because we haven't mocked it up uh, completely. We haven't shaved it down to get it to fit perfectly, but it shouldn't be that hard of a process. And I think it'll definitely spice it up, but definitely comment down below. So my second dilemma is that we have a full orange roll of wrap, okay? We have an extra orange roll that we were gonna wrap. Dylan's old King Ranch dually. Uh, we didn't end up doing it, so we have a full orange roll. Thing about it is, is that we need orange wrap to fix some of the fenders on the G70Z and also on the G50Z. And I wanna make this thing orange, but I looked up the orange, same wrap, and it's on a three month back order right now. So I can't get orange for this car. So that means I need a color. I don't really know what color I really wanna go with, but I'm thinking red, blue, pink. I don't know yet. Red is my most favorite color I want to do. Not like a gloss red like the FD, more like a pearlescent red. I don't know what you call it. So we're getting down to business on the Subaru. I didn't record anything, but I pulled out the Junkie Turbo. My new turbo came in. I forgot it at my house, but I'll grab it. I didn't think I'd pull this out quick as I did. Um, but you can see that thing is so tiny. It's literally the size of my fist. And when I was looking at my new turbo, I was like, oh my gosh, this thing's pretty freaking huge. But now that this thing's out, I'm like, dude, I can't wait to uh, bring the new turbo here and compare them because wow, it's a huge difference. I got all the intercooler out, the stock blow off valve. I am picking up an HKS blow off valve tonight. Um, and other than that, everything looks good. The one thing that is for sure ripped is this turbo inlet. And that's why I have a brand new one right here. Um, you can see it's just completely choked right there. Just ripped. So I was definitely losing boost right there. Everything was really loose on this car anyways. And there wasn't a lot of zip ties. Like, look right here. This thing just like slid in right there and like just pop right out. So I'm sure that needs a zip tie or whatever holds that down. Um, so I'm sure that this thing was literally running no boost. But I'm gonna get this turbo inlet on right now. I have everything disconnected but this Allen key bolt and then I can slide it right out, pop that new one in, and we should be good. The G70Z has a chrome tin on it. Um, that's crazy. I am a fan of it. I don't not like chrome tin. I wish I could do it to my car, but since my car's right-hand drive, uh, there'd be no point to it because I do like, you know, people saying that it's right-hand drive. But that is awesome, and I think it complements this build very, very much. Sorry to inform you guys, but this video has been sponsored by Tweakers, so um basically it's 5 a.m and uh, i heard some noises probably around 4 a.m and i come downstairs and my car was completely broken into my new stereo is gone my turbo for the wrx was back there my tdo6 and uh it's gone now my car's ransacked they pulled all my clothes out of the trunk back there and um, they stole the turbo, the new stereo I got for this thing, and um, my tire pressure pumper from Harbor Freight. And they kind of like ransacked everything else, but oh, this sucks so bad. Wow, what garbage people. Now I don't know what to do today. I was supposed to install the turbo in the WRX, and I was supposed to install the stereo in here. And my tire's flat, and they stole my tire pumper. That sucks. So for right now, I got the G50Z inside of my garage at my house. Um, I would take it to the shop, but 
Um, I like that I have more space when I have this at my house. So I'm just going to keep it in my garage for now until I'm ready to kind of work on it. Or if I want to drive this or something like that. But, oh, that sucks. I know it's kind of sound like a cry baby, but it just sucks when you have brand new stuff and it gets stolen. But nothing I could do. Only thing I could do is move forward and uh, just make sure I don't ever have stuff uh, sitting out in the back seat anymore or in the front seat or whatever. This is what I kind of want to do. Uh, you guys can comment down below, tell me if I should or shouldn't. Basically, I want to put these wheels on the WRX and rebuild two of them so that they're squared set up instead of staggered. Uh, that being said, I can run them on an all-wheel drive car instead of this. This having 6-inch lips and 5-inch lips, I'm either going to have to rebuild two to 6-inch lips all around or two to 5-inch lips all around. The second problem that I'm dealing with, the, these are 5 by 114 The WRX is obviously 5 by 100 The smallest adapter kit that I can get to transfer bolt patterns are... 15 millimeters so this this i'm running a 15 millimeter in the front and you can see with a two inch flare it's it'll be flush um but with the wrx it's a whole different body style so who knows if i'll be able to run the six inch lips or the five inch lips either way i think it's a good idea because i think these wheels will complement the wrx literally a million percent they're all chrome the color i'm going to be going the chrome will complement it so well so if i do end up putting these on the wrx i'll rebuild two of them make them fit the WRX perfectly, and then I'll get a whole new set of wheels for when I redo the flares on this car and get them perfectly built to spec so that I can have uh, perfect wheels without any spacers, which is pretty much my dream. Let's head to the shop. I'm definitely not gonna drive this thing tomorrow morning because uh, it is pouring rain. Back at the shop. So sad that this is the only turbo I have, but good news, we got the hood latched completely and uh, we're building the headlight mounts today. Hopefully both headlights are in position by the end of today and the bumper is too. But you can see this is pretty much where it's gonna sit. This is gonna get kicked out a little bit more and the sides of the bumper need to be held up by the fenders, but check that out. I think it looks pretty good. Headlights saggy because we don't have the bars in, but I think the bars are somewhere around here. It's so loud, dude. So loud. Where's, where's this piece? Brother! So, uh, threw it out the window. Why is that like that? Uh, it gives it extra speed. Nice. It makes it so I can shift faster. And you know my next question. Where's your airbag? Oh, it's, uh, one of the camo airbags. It's there. Oh. It's just, you can't see it. <laughs> Here we go. So we got one headlight bracket done. Um, actually not done at all. We still need to drill the holes for it and bolt it in, but you can see the weld to the bend to the core support. It's gonna structural up the front core support to that. And it's also gonna be our headlight brackets. This thing actually goes into the fender. So we're not gonna worry about that one too much. Mostly this one and uh, one down there, but it'll look really, really good when it's done. Getting this side notched out because we cut a little too much off of this side. So we have to notch it for the headlight. Um, also the ABS is kind of in the way, but it's not that bad in the way. I think we'll be able to work with it, right? So you can see it's notched right around the headlight like that now. That's gonna bolt right there. It's gonna be super, super nice. So the headlight brackets are completely done. Well, they still need to be plugged into the fenders, but this is the fitment so far. We have to still adjust them a little bit and grind down some more stuff, but Check that out. I got the world's cheapest Evo. We made a lot of progress today. We're gonna get going on the fenders here soon and uh, that'll be in the next video, but I'm gonna peace out here. Yes, sir. Where'd you say it's faster than Tyler Morales' Evo? <laughs> peace. <laughs>